This is week 2. Multiplies, simple fractions, and mixed fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to multiply simple fractions and mixed numbers. Multiplying fractions are just like multiplying numbers. To multiply fractions, you have to multiply the numerators and then multiply also the denominators of the fractions to be multiplied. If the product is in an improper fraction, simplify it or reduce to its lowest term. Learning task 1. Multiply the given fractions. Number 1. 3 fourths times 1 half. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 equals 3. Then multiply denominators. 4 times 2 equals 8. Number 2. 1 fifth times 3 sevenths. 1 times 3 equals 3. And 5 times 7 equals 35. Number 3. 8 elevenths times 7 ninths. 8 times 7 equals 56. 11 times 9 equals 99. Number 4, 5 thirteenths times 6 sevenths. 5 times 6 equals 30. 13 times 7 equals 91. Number 5, 8 seventeenths times 4 fifths equals 8 times 4 equals 32. 17 times 5 equals 85. Cancellation method can be applied before multiplying the fractions so that the product is already in its lowest term. You can apply cancellation if there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. Example Multiply 4 fifths and 10 elevenths. Possible numerator and denominator to cancel are 4 and 5, 10 and 11, 4 and 11, or 5 and 10. The pair of numerator and denominator with common factor is 5 and 10. And the common factor is 5. Therefore, divide both by 5. So 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Then multiply 4 times 2 and multiply 1 times 11. Good day. This is week 2. Solve routine or non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and mixed fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine or non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. In solving word problems, we have routine and non-routine types of problems. Since it was already defined in Lesson 2, we will not define it in this topic. In multiplication, 
we will take note of the possible phrases that we can use in multiplying any kinds of numbers. These are times the product of multiplied by of twice and thrice. Learning task 1. Translate the given phrases to mathematical phrases. Number 1. Trice the sum of 3 fifths and 2 thirds less 1 half is what number? Number 2. 1 fourth times 2 thirds. Number 3. The product of two ports and the sum of three halves and four. Number four, the difference of five and the product of two thirds and one sixth. Number five, the product of eight and the sum of three ports and its reciprocal. In problem solving, there are steps that we need to follow. First, identify the given facts, the data needed to solve the problem. Next, identify what is asked in the problem. Third, determine the operation, then write the number sentence. Fourth, solve the problem. And last, Check your answer to know whether your answer is correct. Learning Task 2 Translate each of the following problem into mathematical sentence, then solve. Number 1. 3 ports multiplied by 16 over 21 is what number? First, use cancellation for 3 and 21, and the common factor is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Use cancellation for 4 and 16. The common factor is 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Then let's multiply. 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 times 7 equals 7. The answer is 4 over 7. Number 2. The product of 5 and 7 nines and 27 over 56 is what number? In mathematical sentence, then let's solve. Change 5 and 7 over 9 in improper fraction. 9 times 5 equals 45 plus 7 equals 52 over 9 times 27 over 56. Then let us multiply using cancellation method. The common factor for 52 and 56 is 4. 52 divided by 4 equals 13. 56 divided by 4 equals 14. For 9 and 27, the common factor is 9. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. Then let's multiply numerators. 13 times 3 equals 39, then the denominators, 1 times 14 equals 14. Then change this to mixed number. How many 14 in, in 39? There are 2, then the remainder of 11. Then copy the denominator 14. Number 3. 4 and 2 pips times 7 and 1 third is what number? In mathematical sentence, then let us solve. Change first those 
mixed numbers into improper fractions. 5 times 4 equals 20 plus 2 equals 22 over 5 times 3 times 7 21 plus 1 equals 22 over 3. Then, let's multiply. We cannot use cancellation. 22 times 22 equals 484. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then, change to mixed numbers. There are 32 in 484. With the remainder of 4, then copy the denominator 15. So the answer is 32 and 4 15. Number 4. Twice the product of 8 over 15 and 2 and 4 7. The mathematical sentence for this problem is, then let's solve. Let's multiply first fractions inside the parentheses. 8 over 15 times 2 and 4 sevenths. Change this 2 and 4 sevenths into improper fraction. 7 times 2, 14 plus 4 equals 18. Let's multiply numerators and let's multiply denominators. 8 times 18 equals 112. 15 times 7 equals 105. Then, multiply by 2 or 2 over 1. 112 times 2 equals 224. 105 times 1 equals 105. Then, change to mixed number. There are two 105 and 224 with the remainder of 14. Then, copy the denominator 105. So, the answer is 2 and 14 over 105. Learning task 1. Solve the following problems. Number 1. A room is 8 and 2 thirds meters by 5 and 1 fourth meters. What is the area of the room? To get the area of the room, multiply 8 and 2 thirds by 5 and 1 fourth. Before that, Change first these fractions into improper fractions. So 8 times 3 plus 2 equals 26 over 3 times 4 times 5 plus 1 equals 21 over 4. You can cancel using cancellation. You can use cancellation method 26 and 4. The common factor is 2. 26 divided by 2 equals 13. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. You can use also cancellations for 3 and 21. And the common factor is 3. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Then, let's multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 13 times 7 equals 91. 1 times 2 equals 2. Then, change to mixed number. And that is 45 and 1 half. And that is the area of the room. Number 2. A group of volunteers packed 198 bags of rice. Each bag contained 3 and 1 fourth kilo of rice. How many kilograms of rice did the volunteers pack? 
To solve the problem, we need to multiply 198 times 3 and 1 fourth. 3 and 1 fourth change this to improper fraction. 4 times 3 plus 1 equals 13 over 4. Then you can use cancellation for 198 and 4. The common factor is 2. 198 divided by 2 equals 99. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then multiply 99 times 13. That is 1,287. Then copy denominator 2. Let's simplify. Change to mixed number. 643 and 1 half. Number 3. A baker uses 3 and 3 fifths tablespoon of melted butter for every kilogram of flour. How many tablespoons of melted butter he used for 13 and 1 half kilograms of flour? So we need to multiply 3 and 3 fifths times 13 and 1 half. Before that, let us change this first to improper fraction. 5 times 3 plus 3 equals 18 over 5 times 2 times 13 plus 1 equals 27 over 2. Then let's use cancellation for 18 and 2. The common factor is 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Let's multiply 9 times 27 equals 243. 5 times 1 equals 5. Change to mixed number. And that is 48 and 3 pips. Number 4. Alling lose both 3 eighths yards of linen cloth, which cost 72 pesos per yard. She gave 1,000 pesos to the cashier. How much change will she receive? And this is the mathematical phrase. Then let's solve. First, let us multiply 3 eighths times 72. Using cancellation, let us cancel 8 and 72 by dividing their common factor of 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. Then let's multiply 3 times 9 equals 27. Then, Copy denominator 1 or 27. Then let us subtract 27 from 1,000 pesos. And the answer is 973 pesos. To solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools, it is better to translate the given phrases to mathematical phrases. This will help you understand what is being asked. Learning Task 4 Write the equation and solve. Number 1. Multiply 7 nines to the sum of 8 and 3 sevenths and 5 and 11 fourteenths. This is the equation for this. Then let's solve. Before that, 8 and 3 sevenths, rename this, and this is 8 and 6 over fourteenths. 
plus 5 and 11 fourteenths and the total is 13 and 17 fourteenths. Then simplify 14 and 3 over 14. Then let's multiply this to 7 over 9. First, 7, 9 times 14 and 3 fourteenths. Change this first to improper fraction. So, 14 times 14 plus 3 equals 19, 199 over 14. Then, next is cancellation. We can cancel 7 and 14 by dividing their common factor of 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. Then, let's multiply 1 times 199. 199. 9 times 2 equals 18. Then, change to mixed number. And this is 11 and 1 over 18. Number 2. The product of 6 sevenths and 2 thirds is blank. The equation for this is 6 sevenths times 2 thirds. Use cancellation. We can cancel 6 and 3. And the common factor is 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Then let's multiply. 2 times 2 equals 4, 7 times 1 equals 7. The answer is 4 sevenths. Number 3. Find the area of a room 9 over 7 meters and 2 sevenths meter. This is the equation. So, we need to multiply. We cannot use cancellation. So, we need to multiply both numerators and both denominators. 9 times 2 equals 18 and 7 times 7 equals 49. So the answer is 18 over 40. A bus can travel 18 and 3 eighths kilometers in an hour. How far can it travel in 3 eighths hours? This is the equation. Before we solve, let's change first Mixed number to improper fraction. 18 times 8 plus 3 equals 147 over 8 times 3 eighths. Let's multiply 147 times 3 equals 441. 8 times 8 equals 64. Let's simplify. This is 6 and 57 over 64. Number 5. Indai wanted to have 120 kilograms of Indian mango. She picked 10 bags of it. Each bag contains 9 and 1 half kilograms. How many kilograms of Indian mango did she need more? So, this is the equation. We need to multiply first 10 times 9 and 1 half. Let's change this mixed number to improper fraction. 2 times 9 plus 1 equals 19 over 2. Let's multiply using cancellation. Let's cancel 10 and 2. Using their common factor, 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then, 5 times 19 equals 95. Then, denominator of 1. Or, 95. Then, 120 minus 95 equals 25 
kilograms.